Welcome back. Ghost Cobb here on the side porch for another Sunday chat. You guys uh, commented last week and really liked the idea in the video. I talked about one of my cow tipping trips last week and uh, it was quite humorous, I guess. I had the uh, jar of cherry uh, homemade hoo chow here and I was dipping in it a little hard there, Christy, and got a little beside myself, I guess. Surprising. Surprising, the wife says, huh? Well, today, my Missouri Meerschaum Dagner Cobb, thank you, Scotty P. And in it, from Scotty P, Cornell and Deals Bijou. I know everyone's surprised that I'm smoking a corn cob pipe and a Cornell and Deal blend. However, that's just my favorite thing. Doesn't really matter what Cornell and Deal it is, I just seem to really enjoy their blends. My cup of mud. And I'm gonna share with you my tamper today. Today I'm using my 30 odd six tamper. Uh, yes, folks, it's got an end in it, but there is no primer and there's no powder in it. However, the cool thing about this is the brass is actually from World War II. So um, that's really cool because I got it and reloaded it and shot it through my grandfather's 30 um, on 6 that he used in World War II that I own. So I just thought it was really cool to have it and use it as a tamper. So that way it's always with me. Special guest today on the side porch to my immediate right. The whiff. My beautiful, oh, gorgeous, oh, love of my life, Christy. You are full of yourself on a Sunday morning. <laughs> she's got her notebook out and she's plotting my death to make my humidor a jewelry box as we speak. <laughs> At least that wasn't an evil laugh, so I'm not too concerned yet. So, last night was family night. Went to the drive-ins again. We have a tractor coming, so I'm gonna have to pause for a few moments, because they are quite loud. I'm gonna use that time to relight the pipe. On that beautiful classic John Deere tractor. I know. And I'm not into John Deere's either, but I love classic tractors. I'm one of those guys that were driving down the road, and there's a cool old tractor, either someone's driving or it's sitting there, and I'll do the. Chris will be like, No, you're not buying it. Someday I will have an antique tractor restored. A farm all. A farm See, I taught her right. She knows a good tractor, folks. Must be good. That's what you made me get our engagement pictures on. <laughs> now that's an evil smirk. <laughs> folks, I am a true hillbilly. Would you like to share with the kind folks today how I proposed to you? I already opened up the bag. They're all wanting to know now. You might as well share it. This will make a good Sunday chat. Let's do that. Good Sunday chat. A good Sunday chat. Go ahead. Well, it may have been a Sunday or a Saturday. Well, it would have been one of the days. It was a weekend. Mm -hmm. And my lovely husband brought me to Bass Pro Shop, yes, Bass Pro Shop, to visit with Santa, of which the camera was broken. So we stood in line for Santa for over an hour with a then 
eight year old or just turned nine. Kayla had just turned mm -hmm. nine in November, so just turned nine, exhausted, well past her bedtime. Anybody who knows Haley, when eight o'clock hits, she's gonna be 16 this year, and when eight o'clock hits, the giggle bug comes out. <laughs> she doesn't get crabby, she doesn't get grumpy, but she gets very giggly. Crawl around on the floor acting like a crab giggly. So here I am, like, this child's about to melt. We've been in line for over an hour. The camera is broken. We just need to go home. We can come back and see Santa another day. And nope. Insisted that we stay. We must see Santa today. I didn't care to stay. Haley didn't care to stay. I was like, are, are you out of your flipping mind? Like, Santa is not that important that we need to be having a public meltdown to see Santa. We still had a couple weeks left to go to Christmas time, so we had plenty of time to make the trip back out there. Insisted we stay. Two hours later, finally get up in line, it's our turn, and he wants me to sit on Santa's lap. Well, anybody who knows me, I am a personal space kind of person. I don't like people touching me. I don't like people in my space. And very few people come into my personal space bubble because I'm very quick to tell you about yourself when you're in my bubble. So he insisted I sit on Santa's lap and I was like, it's not happening. I'm not sitting on some creepy old man's lap. It's just not happening. So then Haley asked me, but please, please mom, sit on his lap. So I'm like, oh Jesus. So I go up, I sit on the man's lap. He asks me what I want for Christmas and me now being irritated because I've stood in line for two hours for Santa Claus. I have a child melting because she's way overtired. She played right into my hand. I knew Sean had my engagement ring because we designed it together and I never even got to see the finished product because the lovely ladies at K Jewelers wrapped it up and put ribbon and a whole lot of tape on it so I couldn't even take a sneak peek without him knowing. And he had that thing for over a month and kept moving it to various different places in the house. So that way I could see the box with the ribbons on it but I couldn't see what the ring looked like. So at this point, Haley's overtired having a meltdown. Mom is tired from standing in line for two hours. Now I have to sit on this man's lap and he's in my personal space, which not a good thing. So he says, what would you like for Christmas, I, my dear? And I looked at him, I said, well, I'd like my flipping ring. And he pulled out something out of his sleeve and he said, you mean this ring? I jumped up so fast off of his lap, the candy canes fell over, Santa grabbed my butt, and yes, there are pictures because the ladies were taking the pictures. Um, I had like 300 people in line for this flipping Santa Claus, clapping and cheering and yeah. Pleasant times, pleasant times. Yep. I always wanted, I figured she deserved something out of the box, something original, and that's what I did. Yep. I apologize for the missus not being on camera today. However, she does not have makeup on and therefore she refuses to get on camera. Maybe later. So that's a little story about Sean and Christie's great engagement. We'll, t we'll tell a story later about the humidor. Okay. Oh boy. I gotta put my face on first. A couple great announcements we got coming though. Um, for you guys out there with beards or those of you that have sons with beards or even uh, ladies for putting it in their hair. Even ladies. I for like put, it. Yeah you like it for putting it in your hair. Um, I like it for the ends. I have very in-between hair. It's not straight. It's not curly. It's somewhere Medusa-style everywhere. 
So my ends get very dry because they don't know which way they want to go. So Bearded Assassins gave me a 10% off code. Folks, the code is good forever. This code does not expire. It can be used on any purchase. It can be used as many times as you want. Um, it is for 10% off. Go to beardedassassins.com and put in the code after you put your order together, GHOST1, all caps, G-H-O-S-T, the number one. It works. My brother-in-law ordered uh, some beard balm yesterday, was really excited about it. Um, I ordered two. You did? I did. See what she does? Without me knowing, she ordered. So that'll so, be a yabo, and that'll be an exciting have, yabo. We have the comb coming. We have the beard wash coming. Nice. We have the sample sizes of all the oils coming. Wow. And I have the butter coming. And I say I because I'm not sharing. <laughs> so even my wife, no, that's not a good. My wife is now going to be an assassin. I don't know if I should be scared or not with that humidor being a jewelry box. We also have an exciting thing coming for you ladies. Yes, you ladies out there. Um, if you are a man watching my station, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can do this for your wife. It is called Fab Fit Fun. Okay, it is. It's a seasonal box that Sean started getting me like two years ago. I'd say two, three years ago. So you get four boxes in a year, and the box has really anything. It says Fab Fit Fun. Um, sometimes you'll get like yoga mats, yoga towels. I've gotten huge canvas beach bags that were like $58 for the bag. Um, jewelry 18 karat gold jewelry with real turquoise stones um we got a glass water bottle this time around you got a really nice dress scarf this time around yeah, that was 54 dollars um you don't pay for the i you don't pay retail for the items that are in there because they're buying th these things in such bulk you get them at a great discount to begin with um the box and if anybody has any questions, they can message Sean and I can give them the, the link and the code. Instead of the box being $50, the box is going to be $39.99 so per season. So you'll get one in spring, winter, fall, and summer. And, and, summer. Yep. and you can order And it's $40 all, bucks a, bo uh, $39 a box. You can either order it all four seasons at once, or you can do like we do, and we just order one season at a time, because sometimes there might be something that I don't want. Now this one, I will tell you that while it is technically for me, I piece out my box all the time. There's always some type of product in there that Sean likes, Haley likes things, and she takes things. This time she took two. She took the gold necklace with the turquoise stones, and she took the glass water bottle. Yeah. Um, and I don't think there was anything for you this time. Nope. Um, and then I, I gift these items out because, again, it's a $54 scarf that came with it. If it's something that I'm not going to use, I can, give, I can give it away on my page, or I can gift it to my mom, my sister, my aunt, whoever. Um, if you want to look her up, it's Hot Mess Sisters on Facebook. On Facebook. It's a page. On, uh, yeah, it's a page on Facebook. Hot Mess Sisters. Go ahead and go on there and friend her. Uh, ask her questions if you want on that. Um, I'm going to be doing a one-year giveaway. I'm going to be doing a one-year gall here in August. So I'm going to probably include something from that in for your wife or girlfriend or whatever. I'm going to do that in as well. Um, 
more details to come on the gall. So that's really it for now. We're at 15 minutes. I don't know if this is going to download or not. Hopefully it will. Guys, until we can get together and pack a pipe or smoke a good cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Thanks for stopping in today. Christian, I really appreciate it. Y'all take care and God bless.